It's your boy, Big Kel, still repping that seven day genetics and y'all know how I do it. I work out seven days, seven days. Now back to my segment, the real truth in which I talk about things that are important to me. Sometimes good, sometimes bad, always informative. I just hope you get something out of it. Now today what I wanna talk about is being proud of who the fuck you are. And don't let anybody try to take it away from you. What I mean by this is not to be a supremacist, not to look down on other races of people or anything like that or gender or, you know, all that other bullshit. But don't let anybody tell you that you can't be proud of who the fuck you are in this world today. Let's consider the type of people who are here and uh, and, and without even going specifically in the groups, there's a lot of shitty people out here, shitty white people shitty spanish people shitty black people shitty everybody but in the end you should be proud of who you are and don't let this racist country tell you shouldn't be proud to be who you are and that's it fuck all that bottom line i'm black pretty certain it's not a surprise and i'm proud of that shit even through all the turmoil we went through even through today when white people will tell me to just get over it. When white people tell me that racism no longer exists, shit, even some Mexican people will say that to me. Some Spanish people. I'm like, get the fuck out of my face. You're full of shit. There's so many different agendas out there to try to ruin the black agenda or take, you know, fuel away from it. And I'll explain that in a moment. First and foremost, comics will make jokes about black people, but they're just jokes. Not when they're rooted in the racist past of this country. People will openly say that, oh, I wasn't, I didn't have slaves and you weren't a slave. So what, bitch, but the effects of it are still felt today. You can't take a group from another country by force, force them into servitude for hundreds of years, turn around tell them that they're free and then force them to go back to the same plantations. Then treat them with the same rules that you did when they were slaves by continuing to beat them, lynch them, burn them and pull them their families apart. Then fast forward to the day and then not even much of a fast forward because it wasn't that long ago. All of a sudden you act like everything is okay when you can watch the local news and see a black person get killed, but you want to act like racism doesn't exist. Let me tell you something. Racist people exist, so racism does exist. And for anybody that says that things have are 100% better, you're a stupid ass bitch. And I hope you take that to heart. Now, when I was talking about entities that try to pull fuel away from black people and our black agenda, well, let me just say this. Black Lives Matter, the LGBTQ, whatever the move, movement is, so I don't get offended. I, I just, I think that's what it is. In the end, they want to say that, you know, the black agenda and the gay agenda are the same. No, the fuck they are not. I was born black. Born this way. And no matter what I do, I'm black. Being gay and being black are two different things. I mean, you got to think about it. I mean, in our country, we have presidents, um, congressmen, everybody who wants to say, oh, um, why do we say Black Lives Matter? It should be All Lives Matter, just so you can take fuel away from Black Lives Matter. Because black people are historically treated as less than, historically. So fuck all that, nothing made up. This is what it is. So don't try to diminish Black Lives Matter, um, let's say Black Lives Matter and, and, and say all lives matter. I'm just saying, man, don't, don't, don't give me that bullshit that I need to, in the end, attack everybody's issue when my people are the ones who need the most. Fuck that. It's nothing against anybody else's group, but black people got enough going on right now, man. 
We can't even get a fair shake in this country. We cannot. I mean, you gotta think about it. There are issues that have been attacked. For instance, I, President Obama, great to see him in the White House. I, I'd love to see it, but in the end, a lot of times when I see him attack these social issues based on race, a lot of times it's reparation for the Jews and every other group. What about black people? When the fuck are we going to get a fair shake? Oh, black people don't need reparations. Okay. Okay. We don't, but everybody else deserves it, right? If you're Native American, you can prove it. You can get a certain amount of money from the government every year. Jewish people got reparations. And why is talking about Jewish reparations in this country important? The Holocaust didn't happen in this country. But black people are slaves? That happened in this country. I get the Native Americans thing because it happened in this country. But let's stop worrying about the issues of everybody else in this world. If black people were the group that was held in bondage for so many years and you can't even give us a goddamn bone. You can't. Y'all just got to stay involved in our affairs. You have our communities policed with people who don't give a shit about our community. And you want it to be a better place. If you want to find drug dealers and you put all the police in black and brown neighborhoods, of course, all your drug dealers are going to be found in these black and brown neighborhoods if they're the only one that you're policing. Get it the fuck together. And when you try to act like, oh, they're only policing those areas because they're they're having issues. Okay. You keep believing that, you dumbass bitch. All the money is pulled out of black and brown communities and poured into any other community. But you can't see that that's an issue. Then you take these young black men, you put them in jail, you give them felonies, they can't get a job, they... What the fuck are they? What fuck else are they going to do? They have to survive. So in the end, being out there selling drugs, okay, yeah, it's despicable, and I hate to see it. But if you don't got no other option, and you're not allowed to get a trade and be able to get a job, what the fuck else do you expect? As a matter of fact, America needs to stop spending on other countries and all this other bullshit, and in the end, worry about the people that are in this country. If everybody in this country is given a fair shake and we stop worrying about other countries, our country will be okay. But nah, we want to put the black man under a thumb and give money to people who are not from this country. Not to say immigrants don't have a right to be here. But what I am saying is, why are they getting so much money to come here and black people are living in the conditions they're in? And I hate when motherfuckers say, well, my family was immigrants from this country and they were able to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Well, you dumbass bitch. When your great grandfather came here, black people were slaves. When your grandfather came here, black people were going through segregation. Don't give me that bullshit that it's just that easy for black people. You need to understand the psychology of everything. If not, shut the fuck up. In the end, most black people don't want a fucking handout. But in the end, what they do expect is to be treated like everybody else in this fucking country. And if you fight against that, that simply means